Hi, my name is James Heffernan, I'm the Youth Development Coordinator for the Camogie Association. Welcome to week four of our skills session. This week we're concentrating on the skills of controlling the moving ball and striking a low ball. For this session you will need eight cones, a hurl, a slitter, a wall and approximately 10 metres squared of space. At any stage throughout the session, if you want to make it harder, increase the reps or increase your tempo. And if you want to make the session easier, decrease the tempo or pause the session and take a breather. Enjoy this week's session. For the warm up, you will need four cones. Set up four cones in a straight line. Each cone should be two meters apart. From the end points of the cones, it will be a total of six meters. Begin with a jog. When jogging, exaggerate arms. Hands should go from hips to lip. Keep chest open and head up. Repeat twice. The next activity is the A skip. Coordinate arms and legs, pick up knees and toes, and drive up into the air. Our next activity is the half pace run. Stay tall throughout the hips, high knee drive, and run off the balls of the feet. Repeat twice. The next activity is the ice hockey stop. Stop in a lateral lunge at each cone, keep head and back straight, and sit down and back onto the lead leg. Remember to do two reps out and back and continue the ice hockey stop at each cone. Our next exercise is the jump and land. Jump up into the air and when landing, keep the feet hip width apart. Land by flexing the hips and knees. Keep the knees over the toes. Repeat this at every cone. Do two reps out and back. Our next exercise is the shuffle. Adopt a semi squat position, keep body facing forward, and sidestep with legs in and out throughout the cones. Repeat twice. The next exercise is a lunge stop. Decelerate from a jog by dropping into a lunge position at each cone. Keep knee in line with foot and hip. Prevent the knee from drifting forwards off the toes. Ensure that this exercise is performed at each cone and repeat two reps in and out.
The next exercise is the plant and cut. At each cone, plant the foot and pick a spot lateral to the cone. Drop to the inside shoulder and flex the knee to load over the foot. The plant and cut should be performed at each cone. Repeat two reps in and out. The next exercise is squat stops. From a jog, decelerate at each cone by stopping in a squat position. Keep feet hip width apart. Focus on activating the glutes and hamstrings. Again, repeat two reps in and out. This completes the warm up. Toss the slitter from the cupped hand to shoulder height. Keep eyes on the slitter. Slide the non dominant hand into the lock position, bending the elbows to raise the hurley. Step forward with the lead foot and swing the hurley downward. Strike the slitter at knee height. Transfer the body weight to the non-dominant leg as the swing is completed. Hold the hurley at the ready position. Move the hurley from the ready position into a lifting position. Hold the hurley at an angle to deflect the slitter towards the body. Release the non-dominant hand from the hurley to catch the slitter. Drill one, low strike and control. Start at the point furthest from the wall. Solo up to the cone four meters from the wall. Strike the low ball low against the wall and as it returns towards you, control the slitter and take it into your hand. Repeat the drill for one minute. Minus one minute. Minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Drill 2, strike and control square. Mark out a square as shown in the diagram. Stand in the centre of the square and strike the ball low and hard against the wall. As the ball returns to the square, control the ball, keeping inside the square at all times. Repeat the activity for one minute. Minus one minute. T 
minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Drill 3. Zigzag Strike and Control. Mark out the cones in a zigzag pattern as shown in the diagram. At each cone, you must strike and control the slitter before you can move on to the next cone. Strike and control at each cone up and down the pattern for one minute. Minus one minute. Minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Drill 4. Chase and control. Mark out one cone 2 metres from the wall as shown in the diagram. Strike the ball low against the wall, letting the ball beat you and then chasing after the ball to control it. Take the ball into your hand and repeat the process for one minute. Minus one minute. Minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Triangle strike and first touch. Mark out a triangle as shown in the diagram. Move from the left to the right points of the triangle, striking the ball on the left and right side of the body. As the ball comes back off the wall, control the ball, take it into the hand and repeat the drill. Repeat the drill for one minute. Minus one minute. Minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Drill 6. 
target stripe. Mark out the cones and the targets as shown in the diagram. Start at the furthest point, soloing the ball to 5 meters from the target. Strike the ball low and hard to attempt to hit the target. Try and knock all three targets in the one minute time allotted. Minus one minute. Minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. For the next part of the training session, you will repeat each drill for one minute. You will have a 30 second break in between each drill. You will be count down both at the start and at the end of the drills and at the start and at the end of your break. The next drill is displayed on screen now. You will be given a 10 second countdown for the start of the next drill. Minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. next drill is displayed on screen now. You will be given a 10 second countdown for the start of the next drill. Minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. next drill is displayed on screen now. You will be given a 10 second countdown for the start of the next drill.
minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. next drill is displayed on screen now. You will be given a 10 second countdown for the start of the next drill. Minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. next drill is displayed on screen now. You will be given a 10 second countdown for the start of the next drill. Minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. next drill is displayed on screen now. You will be given a 10 second countdown for the start of the next drill. Minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds.
We are now going to do the cool down. For this, you will need four cones. They should be laid out in the same manner as they were for the warm up. The techniques for the cool down will be similar to those for the warm up. Please listen to the audio and the descriptions of the techniques used. After your cool down is completed, you should complete your own stretching routine. We're going to begin with a jog. When jogging, exaggerate arms. Hands should go from hips to lip. Keep chest open and head up. Repeat twice. The next activity is the A skip. Coordinate arms and legs. Pick up knees and toes and drive up into the air. Our next activity is the half pace run. Stay tall throughout the hips, high knee drive, and run off the balls of the feet. Repeat twice. The next activity is the ice hockey stop. Stop in a lateral lunge at each cone, keep head and back straight, and sit down and back onto the lead leg. Remember to do two reps out and back and continue the ice hockey stop at each cone. Our next exercise is the jump and land. Jump up into the air and when landing, keep the feet hip width apart. Land by flexing the hips and knees. Keep the knees over the toes. Repeat this at every cone. Do two reps out and back. Our next exercise is the shuffle. Adopt a semi squat position, keep body facing forward, and sidestep with legs in and out throughout the cones. Repeat twice. The next exercise is a lunge stop. Decelerate from a jog by dropping into a lunge position at each cone. Keep knee in line with foot and hip. Prevent the knee from drifting forwards off the toes. Ensure that this exercise is performed at each cone and repeat two reps in and out. The next exercise is the plant and cut. At each cone, plant the foot and pick a spot lateral to the cone. Drop the inside shoulder and flex the knee to load over the foot. The 
the planting cut should be performed at each cone. Repeat two reps in and out. The next exercise is squat stops. From a jog, decelerate at each cone by stopping in a squat position. Keep feet hip width apart. Focus on activating the glutes and hamstrings. Again, repeat two reps in and out. This concludes the cool down. That concludes this week's session. All the previous sessions are available on our social media channels and on our website. Please keep an eye out on all our channels for more sessions and more information on Return to Play. Thank you.